Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And let's learn how to solve this logic puzzle. Not too difficult at first. 12 equals a 2, 20 equals a 4, 32 equals a 7, and 64 equals, well, that's what we have to find out here. Pause this video. See if you can get what the answer is. Maybe there's multiple answers. Who knows? I don't know. If you find one, though, put it in the comment section below. But I'm going to show you my approach to solving this problem and the answer I came up with here. All right, so let's go dive in first. First thing I see, 12, 2. I'm like, oh, is it the last digit? Kind of looking at that, 2, 2, 24. Uh, doesn't work out, 0, 4, 2, 7, no, 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 no. All right, what can we do? Well, here's the, the rub. 12 is a 4 times a 3. Okay, gets us a 12. Got it, not too bad there, okay. But again, that doesn't really help us to 12, okay, got it. But 3 minus 1 is a 2. A little conspiracy stuff going on here. Let's see if we apply that. 4 times what gives me 20. 4 times a 5 gives me a 20. Got it. And a 5 minus 1, that's a 4. Oh my goodness, is this really what it is? 32 is a 4 times an 8. 4 times 8, 32, like I said. Take the 8, we subtract a 1 to it. What do we get? 7, 2, easy folks, too easy. So 64 is a 4 times a 16. If this is in fact the pattern, we get that 64, got it. So 16 minus a 1 is a 15. And that is the number we're looking for here. And that is the method I came up with for the solution here. But I'm sure there's another one. If you know what that is, let me know in the comment section below again. Um, yeah, and uh, I'd like to see what you came up with there. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, and this helps us make more of these fun videos. So if you want to keep doing that, please do that, share it, tell your friends, and as always here, thanks for watching.